our main goal and focus is is to provide the community with fresh organic fruits and vegetables because we all know the shit that's in the stores is bullshit right <laughs> so um and then two we also employ a lot of high-risk youth in our neighborhood um and it's crazy because these kids don't even want to go home like they will they don't want they don't want no days off they will they will stay from open to close it just gives them something to do to keep them out of trouble so we're all about community we're all about the young folks we're all about the old folks that want to change their ways um we're just trying to make a change um one day at a time and we get in we almost at the finish line y'all That's what it's about. Yeah. You know what I, mean? I grew up on this block. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? My whole life. Right there in that building, <laughs> building 50. Right. 38 years. Hey, my man. Barry, what's up, man? What, Hi, Barry. Barry. Hey, hey, my brother. Big brother. How are you? Yes, hello? Hello? Nah, yeah, we coming across right now. We about to come across right now with the van. What really attracted me to reaching out with you guys, you guys remind me, are you familiar with the artist David Hammonds? No. So he's, um, I think he's originally from Illinois, but he moved to New York a long time ago, and he's done a lot of his work, some of his performance art pieces in Harlem, the Bronx. He's got a studio in the Bronx. <clears throat> he's older, he's in his 70s, but Dave, a lot of David's work is taking symbols that have, um, weight behind them, you know, like, okay, spade, like he did all these artworks with spades because that's what white folk would call it back then, they call spades, you know what I mean? That was a name for, for black folk, a derogatory name. He's taking something that has a negative connotation and flipping it in his head. And it seems like such a simple idea, but we as a culture, I don't know how much we do that. I think we, there's a lot of pain that we didn't cause that comes with some of this stuff and we get upset when we see it. So I found that really amazing that you guys took a symbol like, you know, watermelon and embraced it and turned it into this amazing, amazing business. You know what I mean? And, you I, know, I think God put the watermelons in the right hands of the people that needed to have it. When we look at what we're doing, the symbolization, like everybody's straying away from it. We going towards it even more because we know it's truth. We like Sambo, it was something that made everybody Get away from watermelons. Exactly. Whatever they saying that we are. And all those yeah. pictures of Sambo, which he's referring to, which y'all may may not know, is like Sambo, super dark, black skin, big lips, big eat, lips, eating a with watermelon, with a stupid look on his face, eating a watermelon, and trying, you know, all these minstrel photos, and it's like not like a small part of American history; it's a huge it's, part of American history. Yeah. And the watermelon was the main thing, right? It was like. Black people are lazy, stupid, and they love watermelon and fried chicken. And that's you know why I mean? we, that's why, that right there is exactly why we fuck Sambo. Like, mm -hmm. we stand, you know what I'm saying? We, uh, this is exactly the opposite. We're not lazy. We work our ass, so we probably work. And I just got off work. Ran down. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's like, we're not lazy, we're not stupid. You know what I'm saying this thing is really healthy for us, so. Everything is in reverse. So we took the reverse, act. we started from the bottom and came up. So everybody's stigma looking up, like if I had to think about a business to get into, and I looked at watermelons, because of it being promoted so much as something negative, 
then you automatically think that that's what the media coming at. You automatically think that uh, I ain't going in that direction. Nah, I pick something else to go. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, but God, like I said, God did this. You know, God time. This dove, dove been working with us for years. Right. See if he gets low. See his, 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 his count getting low, so we gotta go fill him up. Yeah. yeah. Right in front of home hospital. Come down here, give me, give me some watermelon. I know. You gotta get your fix. Not. This is how we travel. We don't use the bathroom. We gotta go back and forth. We use this for road south. trips. We use this for road trips. <laughs> like for now, we're going to Maryland. So, going to Maryland? Yeah, so this is a road trip time. And okay. we're gonna visit our aunts. Our aunt lives in Maryland. Man, light. He was, he was hustling. He was outside hustling. And he was like, yo, real. I was selling, I had a slushy machine, so I was selling drinks. I, we had a, like a little spot. He was selling drinks and stuff. He said, yo, bring that downstairs. I'm gonna show you this watermelon game. Can't hold it. I can't hold it. Ever since then, 10 years ago, I ain't left the game since. Changed my life. And it's crazy, it changed my life when I was only making $30 a day with it. I didn't care that I made $30 a day. I felt so good that I made anything that was legal, legal money, outside. It's been my therapy ever since. It's been my therapy. Babe, get away from that satellite. Man, we gotta start laying up too. We, 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 we love New York, so we gotta get to work. We can't even wait until the morning. The Morgan State University calls the witness tree. The witness tree. Yeah. So they say this tree has seen 
so much history. Because you know the slaves used to come through here. Mm -hmm. The black slaves, getting out of Maryland. So they had to, Harriet Tubman, used, her parents lived on this land. And her brothers. So you can see the people trying to get through here, trying to get out of Maryland, out of slavery. And then they would just follow the river going north, and eventually they got to New York where you live. And then they, they felt a little safe out of slavery. But then they didn't stay in New York City. They went all the way up near Canada to a oh. place called Auburn, New York, right outside of St. Catharines in, in uh, Canada. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay, we're running together. Don't let it go. Close is just close. Really makes it, fortifies the messaging that I'm trying to get across with the clothing. And it wouldn't be the same without you know, whether it's working with you on other projects, which you may have not seen, where I've worked with other people that are actually living the thing I'm, because I'm like, I'm like a director. Obviously, I have lived it, like, like I told a story about my grandfather, mm -hmm. and she, I was eating some watermelon last night, but, you know, I eat black foods all the time. I cook them, but it's like, y'all, in it, in it, you know what I mean? So that's what really brings life to, help bring life to the projects I do, so. I'm forever grateful, man. Always stay in touch and, you know, I'll be up there, check in and grab a watermelon and whatnot, definitely, whatever, man. you know, all the other stuff you guys got. I definitely appreciate having you. Thank definitely, you, man. I appreciate you, man. Oh, Word. Your team is cool. I like your team. Yeah, good people. Yeah, definitely, yeah, good people. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. I definitely like uh, everything that's going on. And I want that one sweaters, man. I need one of them good. I got you. But yeah, so this here is going to be Swiss chard. Um, the variety is called ultraviolet. It's going to be really high in um, antioxidants and vitamins. Anytime you see purple, that's a good sign. You want to eat purple things. Um, they'll help keep you alive, help your cell regeneration. Yeah, that's where it's at. Same thing. This is all lettuce, different lettuces that we grow here Bops. for dinner tonight. Oh, yeah, making dinner tonight? Yeah, I'm helping Auntie make a salad. <laughs> Sweet potatoes we just harvested. I'm seeing these for the first time. I didn't know we did this well. I'm real happy with this. Man, look at these. Man, you ain't tell me it was this good, bro. A lot of the times we just eat and we don't know what we're putting in our bodies. So our goal is to try to teach the community about food and let them know there are other things that you can eat. Like, you don't have to have a soda. You could get a smoothie or a juice. And our prices is reasonable because we want everybody to be able to afford to eat and drink healthy. You know, a lot of the times when you go into different parts of the city, everything is kind of overpriced because it's all about the money. And for us, it's not only about money. I'm retiring.